do you think the current transformer-based large language models will take us to AGI? Uh, my main issue is, uh, I think that they're quite ugly and uh, which, brutalist. Which, which brutalist, yes. is that what you said? Yes, they are basically brute forcing the problem of thought. And uh, by training this thing with looking at instances where people have thought and then trying to deepfake that. And if you have enough data, the deepfake becomes indistinguishable from the actual phenomenon. So, and in many circumstances, it's going to be identical. Can you deepfake it till you make it? So can you achieve, uh, what are the limitations of this? I mean, can you reason? Let's use words that are loaded. Yes, that's, that's a very interesting question. I, I think that these models are clearly making some inference. Yeah. But if you give them a reasoning task, uh, it's often difficult for the experimenters to figure out whether the reasoning is the result of the emulation of the reasoning strategy that they saw in human written text, mm -hmm. or whether it's something that the system was able to infer by itself. On the other hand, if you think of human reasoning, um, you, if you want to become a very good reasoner, you don't do this by just figuring out yourself. You read about reasoning. And the first people who tried to write about reasoning and reflect on it um, didn't get it right. Like Even Aristotle, who thought about this very hard mm -hmm. and came up with a theory of how syllogisms works and syllogistic reasoning, has mistakes in his attempt to build something like a formal logic and gets maybe 80% right. And uh, the people that are talking about reasoning professionally today read uh, Tarski and Frege and built on their work. Mm -hmm. So in many ways, people, when they perform reasoning, um, are emulating what other people wrote about reasoning. Right. right? So that it's difficult to really draw this boundary. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Francois Cholet says that um, these models are only interpolating between uh, what they saw and what other people are doing. Well, if you give them uh, all the latent dimensions of that uh, can be extracted from the internet, what's missing? Maybe there is almost everything there. And if you're not sufficiently informed by these dimensions and you need more, I think it's not difficult to increase the temperature in the large angles model to the point that is producing stuff that is maybe 90% nonsense and 10% viable and combine this with some prover that is trying to mm -hmm. filter out the viable parts from the nonsense in the same way as our own thinking works, right? When we're very creative, we increase the temperature in our own mind and we create hypothetical universes and solutions, most of which will not work. And then we test. And we test by building a core that is internally coherent. And um, we use reasoning strategies that use um, some axiomatic consistency by which we can uh, identify those strategies and thoughts and sub-universes that are viable and that can expand our thinking.